In today's video, I'm going to show you how to compress image size without losing neat quality. So, let's talk more about that. Let's see how to do that. Did you know we can compress our video size without losing neat quality using and breaks out there. Like that, we can compress our image size without losing its quality. It's a great as well. So today I'm bring a software to do that. You can download this software from the description's download direct link. So this software's name is Fast On Photo Resizer. So we can download this software and install it easily. Then you will know you are adding a YouTube thumbnail to your video it must be less than 2 mb so you can see uh, this is a previous tutorials thumbnail it will be 18.8 mb after edit so i would i can't add this image to youtube thumbnail so using this software you can compress it to like 455 okay so let's see how to do that so after installing you can open this fsr resizer so after open you can this this type of interface okay this is the interface after you install you appear so you can see you can change this skin by this so i'm used bright skin you can change it to dark screen skin also so i'm used again you to white screen then you can uh, see the media browser is available then you can uh, get the media from this media browser so another way to import media files to there this is drag and drop so i'm going to uh, drag a photo so i'm use this you can remember the size of this photo is 18.8 mb before compressed so i've drag it and drop to this okay then you can see some settings are available then you can uh, see output format you can change it you can change this uh, output format or you can uh, change batch convert using this uh, tab then you can change this batch rename using this this is very easy you can use any template from this and convert it like that so i'm use i'm going to batch convert so I'm going to batch invert tab and I'm going to the select uh, uh, output format. So I'm like uh, JPG. You can uh, change it to B, BMP or give 4 PNG or otherwise. The best thing is you can convert this into a PDF format. You can convert many photos into a PDF file. So this is very very important to us. So I'm select uh, JPG format. You can choose uh, output folder. So I'm doing the default output folder as user pcp pictures then you can uh, tick to this and use advanced options so i'm using advanced options this advanced options you can add the watermark or you can resize or you can rotate or crop canvas color depth you can adjust the color like that you can uh, use uh, color you can tick this and change the color then you can add the text like that then you can add a watermark like this and you can add a border like this so i don't uh, need any of this uh, so i press cancel then you can if you need to rename this you can press on uh, tick on this and uh, rename your image so i need to rename as before so now it is after so then you can uh, change to uppercase letters for the extension you can use this so i'm use uppercase uh, letters uh, then the, um, you can keep original data uh, time attributions from this tick then you can uh, tick this to ask before override then you can uh, tick this this is all uh, default ticks uh, display error messages so okay then you can uh, go to this settings and convert this uh, output format objects you can uh, control this image quality from any quality so i am use 100% quality then you can uh, change this automatic from this 
you can change it to RGB or grayscale or any other so um, this is not going to change the address no change then you can change these colors of sampling so I'm use high if you need to a better quality from this image you doesn't need compress uh, this image quality you can use this if you need improve quality and doesn't think about the size you can use medium so i, I need compress this file uh, don't fear your quality not drop so you can uh, change this small thing so i'm set it to the default then you can uh, take others to default so then press ok if you can't uh, find that uh, default option you can press on reset and reset to the default so i press ok okay then you can check your preview of your uh, folder so i'm going to the preview it's processing so you can see this is before this is after you can see no changes occurred you can see no quality drop or no changes occurred you can see color is same and the quality is same also you can see okay it's enough then go to close then i'm going to convert this it's very easy uh, you can see it's simply converted so press done then you can open this content folder from this stick and press on done then open this folder then you can see this for um, uh, photo size let's check it you can see this uh, size is 428 kb so let's check uh, uh, before do this uh, you can see this is after this is after the init you can see 428 kilobyte and this is before 18.8 mb so you can see the differences and ah, no quality change you can see no quality drop you can see no quality drop occurred in this you can see it's amazing it's also like handbrake so if you can do this please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get my new videos quickly for you so we will see you in another interesting video with more new stuff and see you then on take it